Hello everyone, my name is Ashish and you are watching The Ultimate Dev Academy and in this video we'll talk about arguments and parameters. So let's spin up the intro and get started. Now if you have been programming for a while, you must have come across arguments and parameters. These are the two terms which are used interchangeably. However, there is a difference between them and today we'll decode that difference. So for that, I have opened my VS Code editor and let me declare a function first. So we'll say let sum is equal to a comma b. I'm using the arrow function syntax and here let's say return a b. So that's it. There's a simple function which adds two numbers. Okay. So here the a and b the variables a and b which you can see in the function definition they are the parameters okay now if we call the function for example let's say console.log and let's say sum 2 comma 3 so here the 2 and 3 are the arguments so let me write here we are parameters 2 and 3 are the arguments now here i have defined the values for the arguments but there can be some variables as well for example if i define two variables say apple is equal to 5 and say oranges equal to 6 and let's call the sum function again apples and oranges so here the apples and oranges are the arguments okay now it's not necessary that the arguments will have different names than parameters so the parameters and the arguments can have the same name. The important thing to note is that the arguments are always while calling the function and parameters are always in the definition of the function. So for example, here if I change this apples to A and this oranges to B, still will not get any error and I should change this to A and I should change this to B like this now if I show you the result you can see here that from line number 11 we are getting 11 okay so line number 11 here and we are getting the result 11 it's not showing any errors because a and b here are the arguments and a and b here are the parameters now the parameters are also sometimes referred to as formal parameters and the arguments are also referred as actual parameters so that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like the video and if you're new here, consider subscribing. See you. Bye-bye.